The path to AGI, we talk about AGI, it's this blurry line of what is AGI. So do you have a definition for it? And why is it so exciting? Why is you know, Sam saying, I'll spend $50 billion, whatever it will take? Um, talk about, the, about that, please. It, it's worth understanding what will happen in the next five years. Please. And um, the work that these guys highlighted and others on the panel will highlight are going to generate savants, that is, specialized assistants that will work with you in whatever you do. Uh, an artist savant, a music savant, a physics savant, and so forth. Um, those savants will work with you to do research, drugs, dis drug discovery, solve problems, uh, can do many, many things. Uh, why five years? Because today we have all the components necessary. We have planning, we have the ability to do a forward and backward reasoning, we can do step, stepwise reasoning, uh, we can go against objective functions that are much more complicated than they used to before, and we can generate arbitrary code. In the industry, it is believed that somewhere around five years, no one knows exactly, the systems will begin to be able to write their own code. That is, they literally will take their code and make it better. And of course, that's recursive. I thought that is essentially a change in slope. If you're going like this, all of a sudden it goes like that. It's reasonable to expect that within six to eight years from now, so 2030 right after that, maybe 2032 under current growth rate, it will be possible to have a single system that is 80 or 90 percent of the ability of, a, of the expert in every field. So 90 percent of a physicist, 90 of the best physicist, 90 percent of the best chemist, 90 percent of the best artist. When you have such a thing, you have a, a, a non-human that is effectively smarter than any human, because no human can dominate all of those fields. Maybe Leonardo da Vinci could, but certainly not now. Um, we don't know what happens when such a, a thing exists, but we know that that race is really important. There are many, many things that this thing, we don't know what to call it except an AGI, could do. For example, it could analyze uh, cyber threats and develop new ones, or it could protect against them. It could come up with new biological solutions, good ones or bad ones. So there's both a national security component and a worry, but also a notion of a huge step change in human efficiency and productivity. I will assert that we as humans are not ready for the arrival of this. Yeah. We're just not ready for it. Yeah, I can imagine all future Nobel Prizes in math, physics, chemistry, medicine coming from AI systems. Yeah, and, and I should say, by the way, that if you go to Formula One, um, you, you enjoy watching the humans drive around the track. Yeah. Now, it's obvious that automated cars, Waymo cars and so forth, could ride, drive faster. But we wouldn't find that an interesting sport. Yeah. So uh, here we are in the land of golf. Maybe there will be a robotic golfer that will beat all the live top golfers. But we won't look at the robot. We'll look at the humans. So we poor humans will We're take pity biased. on ourselves. We're very biased, aren't we? Right. That will very be good. how we choose to entertain ourselves. Uh, very briefly, but this takes an hour worth of conversation. What do you consider the most dangerous outcome around AGI or artificial superintelligence? There's a huge issue around proliferation. And right now, we don't fully understand the rate of proliferation of the mid-tier models and open source models. There's a consensus at the moment that models that cost less than $100 million to train are probably not that dangerous, and ones that cost more than $100 million are more dangerous. I have no idea why we believe that, but that's the number. So what will happen is, at some point, there will be proliferation of inexpensive tools that can do significant damage. The most obvious one is in biology. Yeah. Thank you. Something you know a lot about. And, and I do think that we're going to see extension of the human health span because of AI. We live longer, but it'll be more dangerous in some situations. Hopefully we can moderate that.